YouTube, team keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. <sighs> great news. Really great news. I uh, I finished the season finale of All American last night. I finished it at like 3 in the morning, but I finished it. Um, but shout out to All American. That doesn't Coop look like Lamar Jackson? Especially when, when she had to braise it. But anyway, um, team keep it clean. Some more good news. Ronnie Stanley. He's back. He's back. I, I didn't know um, when we should expect him back. Uh, my hope for this entire season with Ronnie Stanley was that he would just, well, this entire offseason, my hope was that he would be ready uh, by the start of the season. Um, it's, it's sort of like last year. Obviously, him going down to injury is not good at all. Uh, but the best case scenario with his injury is that it had him available for the start of the following season. And to see 79 back out there, it's that's really, 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 really good news. Now, um, well, he obviously is full go. He obviously is ready because Ravens, they, they don't tend to rush people back from injuries. And Ravens usually, when it comes to injuries, they will they are very, very patient with it. They're not like the Panthers who rushed Cam Newton back and he just was never quite the same. Um, or other teams that have, no, they, they usually are very careful when it comes to players' injuries. Um, so with that being said, Ronnie Stanley is, you know he's good to go. You know he's fully healthy. Uh, you know there weren't any setbacks, anything uh, with his leg, anything like that. Um, so that's a very, very good sign. It was nice seeing 79 out there blocking. Um, so that was great news. Now, uh, some other news. Not really overly concerned, but I know they said Kevin Zeitler, this is the fifth practice in a row that he's missed. Um, so hopefully we see him out there soon. Because uh, they got a preseason game coming up. Now, I don't expect Ronnie Stanley to play in it. I don't expect Kevin Zeitler to play in it. I don't expect, expect a lot of starters to play in it. Uh, but we'll see. I'm, I'm just... I'm very um I'm very unsure of how they're they're gonna maneuver this thing for the preseason because it's only three games instead of four. So it's gonna be really interesting to see how they do the uh the playing time and whatnot, uh and how much different guys on the roster uh get their opportunity. So we'll we'll see how that works itself out. Um but with Kevin Zeitler missing practice uh, what was the reason? Well, it's a very explosive reason why he missed practice because of Justin Matabike, who, again, got to give him his credit because this guy has you have heard nothing but great things about this guy. Um, but we, we talk about him another time. Somebody else who has still missed practice. Miles Boykin is still out. Uh, Hollywood Brown is still out. Deion Kane. Deion Kane. He was also. Uh, out of practice today so I'm not sure what's going on with that I know Calais Campbell and Pernell McPhee they weren't there today so that could just be vet days um so we'll see I'm, I'm sure because we haven't heard about any injuries with them so I'm sure that's just vet days Rashad Bateman came back so that's nice uh hopefully for this practice that they, they probably won't even have him doing like everything everything uh but hopefully he can finish practices because uh, a conversation that I've been having with a lot of people um, about the concern of Rashad Bateman because he's, he's leaving practice a lot. He's not finishing a lot of practices. Hopefully it's because last year he didn't play football that much. So his body needs to get back into the regimen. His body needs to get uh, all the way like football, football ready. Um, so we hope, hopefully this is just a practice thing and it doesn't turn into an in-game thing. I, I'm not overly concerned about it. It is something to watch for because we're starting to see a little pattern. But hopefully this is just something that he got to work his way back. He got to work his way out, uh, work his way out of it and just get through it. So he should be fine, though. I, I'm not overly concerned with Rashad Bateman either. Um, but anyway, team, keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Um, if y'all don't see me in that presser today, <laughs> then that means I went back to sleep. Uh, I, well, but either way, I'll see y'all later on today. Oh, and thank you for uh, for checking out that little bonus video that we dropped yesterday. Because we had um, we had one more episode of NFL Question from subscribers that we did, uh, that we did from the hotel. Um, and I just, I was like, man, we could drop it sometime this week. But at the same time, I know things are about to pick up. 
Uh, Ravens got that first preseason game coming up on Saturday. It's <laughs> it's fairly bad. Uh, so the stuff is really going to get ramped up, and and things, as you all can tell, have definitely been extra busy recently. Cause we're here. Like again, slow season is long gone. It's over. Stuff is it's only up from here. Um, so I love y'all team. Keep it clean. Shout out to all the, the team. Keep it clean patrons. Again, the new ones, uh, the old ones, ones that ain't patrons no more. Thank you all. Um, shout out to y'all for just showing a lot of love, not to me, but to each other. Cause I, I see, I see all the comments. Um, and I just, I just appreciate the respect that y'all got for each other, man. I appreciate the respect. Um, I know it's not everybody always agrees with each other, and that's fine. Like we always say, that's fine. We don't want that. I, I, that'd, be, that'd be so boring. If, if, if everything that I said that everybody just agreed with it, no, that'd be boring. That'd be boring. But we got so many different viewpoints on stuff, but when we share those viewpoints with each other, it's always done with respect. So appreciate y'all. Love y'all. I will see y'all later on today. We out.